hello friends uh, welcome to another video session uh, today i'm talk going to discuss with you one of the performance testing tool that is getlink uh, getlink is uh, nowadays uh, trending one of the trending tool in the in the market and most of the agile organizations agile adopted companies software development houses they adopted this tool for the performance testing with application uh, let's begin uh, and understand what we're going to discuss in today uh, in my discussion i will uh, talk with you the uh, all basic uh, about the getlink tool so uh, uh, today i discuss with you what is a getlink and the features of the getlinks and the tool structure and how to install and run the getlink and reports and documentation so so in this way you understand uh, very basic things about the getlink uh, and in my next video session i will uh, demonstrate you more practical work okay let's begin and understand what is a getlink uh, in getlink is a uh, one of the uh, performance testing tool that that you can use for the load generation and uh, stressing the any web application and uh, uh, its uh, development is currently focusing on http support mm, and uh, this tool itself built on top of the scala if you don't know the what is scala check it it's one of the programming language by java and uh, and uh, you understand more uh, for you uh, it is not important to you have to know scala programming but if you know then it it, it brings the added advantage for a customization of the script in easy way but uh, uh, let's understand what what more what more it is in uh, about this getlink uh, and uh, getlink is uh, uh, developed uh, on the domain specific language so uh, you can uh, uh, customize your uh, your uh, performance test codes according to the uh, your development environment and getlink uh, code like a scripting enables you to easy to maintain uh, your testing scenarios and easy to automate then your continuous delivery pipeline why getlink in my view it is it don't crash uh, so that means it 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 able to handle the generate the concurrent uh, number of virtual users from your pc so it is a uh, more powerful uh, with using couple of machines you can generate the thousands of requests to the any any web application so so there are several there are several advantages of using this tool and this tool actually uh, as i said it is developed in the scala and the akka uh, in akka they return the actions like request pause and assertion and so on uh, when you start using this uh, uh, tool and you look around the code and you play around you understand more let's begin and understand what are the core features of the this tool it helps to manage your test easily so you can run with uh, the test with the simulation with its history also and it will bring the matrices so it will show the live results you not need to uh, wait for the until result generation and it can it tool can be work as a plug and play so you you this tool you can be download on your pc run on from your local computer and also you can run from the cloud architecture also with the uh, amazon web services and google cloud platform or maybe some other and this tool can be a very good collaborative tool with in uh, with within a team like you have testers team and developer team and also there is a infrastructure team they are managing the jenkins and and uh, some other tools and also you can uh, manage its permissions very easily and let's understand what was the tool structure uh, when you download this tool on your pc uh, when you open it 
it contain the uh, many subfolders uh, one of the folder called bin bin uh, folder itself contain the launch script for the get link and recorder uh, once uh, you start using you understand more uh, uh, most of the things uh, we need to look around the uh, uh, two uh, three folders one is bin and one is the results and one is the uh, user files so uh, and also one more folder second folder also it's called uh, config conf that means configuration uh, that actually contain the all uh, basic files regarding to the get link akka and logback and there is a one more folder called lib that contain the uh, binaries used by the get link and one more folder called user files it contain the simulation of uh, scala files and data contains the uh, pd files and also it contains the template for the request bodies and there is one more folder called request uh, it has the logs and reports in the uh, in the subfolder so when you uh, simulate and run uh, you get a one result folder in the result uh, folder itself so in this way uh, um, this tool contain the five main folders so this is a more or less tool structure and next is how to install and run so to uh, this uh, get link tool itself provide the one GUI interface for the recording the test cases using this proxy we can simulate the user scenarios and we can record and one more option is like uh, to upload har files har files that mean uh, you in using your chrome browser or uh, firefox browser you can generate the har files recording the user scenarios related to your test case and upload them to the tool and and convert them first then then you you run according to the to the script uh, okay let's uh, understand what is a recorder recorder itself uh, bring the uh, environment where you clicking the button you can start recording the user interaction with your proxy text search browser once you recorded uh, you uh, save them once you save then uh, you run using the uh, command prompt once you launch the command prompt it asks for the uh, title of the report and the name of the report then once you fill in and uh, you, you select the which uh, number of test you want to run then you press the test number and that's it it run boom so so mm, there are only two things basically you need to understand how to make the records of your test cases and how to run those test cases to generate the report and of course there is a one small structure also i want to show you this is a like uh, uh, where you can edit and uh, simulate the number of user now example it is zero if you put the 100 users so it will generate the 100 concurrent users according to your scenario so uh, in my next video you understand more practical part so this your video session is only for the overview and last part is the report generation as you seen uh, it this tool itself brings the very nice results in the report so so uh, the the whole team including developers and architecture team also can understand the the report quite easily so that's it my friends if you want to learn read more about the gatling tool go to the this link gatling.io forward slash documentation forward slash where you uh, find find more more useful information regarding this tool and uh, 
you can also there they have some programming example and so on so friends uh, I will come with you another video session where I will demonstrate you a more practical part like how to download this tool itself on your PC and how to run your first performance test case from this using this tool and that's it okay friends I hope uh, you like my today's video session if you like uh, do not forget to with to share with your friends who are learning about this tool and also write down the, some comments uh, if you have some other performance tool experience or if you know something related to this tool so others video viewers also understand and and know about more about this tool okay friends see you in next video